Survival Techniques Classroom Rules Those who will attend personal necessity can go out silently. Those who are sleepy can proceed at the back and have some stretching. Questions will be entertained right after the lecture. Safety Plan In case of fire, run immediately to the nearest exit door and immediately proceed to open ground for accounting. In case of earthquake, do the duck, cover and hold on procedure. Tripping Wire Be careful of the extension wire used. At the end of the session, the students must be able to apply the survival techniques when faced with survival situations. Tropical Survival Field Expedient Direction Finding Tropical Survival Is a knowledge of field skills, the ability to improvise, and the application of the principles of survival will increase the prospects of survival. Tropical Weather High temperatures, heavy rainfall, and oppressive humidity characterize equatorial and subtropical regions, except at high altitudes. Jungle Types There is no standard jungle. The tropical area may be any of the following. Tropical rainforests. Secondary jungles. Tropical scrub and thorn forests. The chief characteristics of tropical scrub and thorn forests are there is a definite dry season. Trees are leafless during the dry season. The ground is bare except for a few tufted plants in bunches, grasses are uncommon. Plants with thorns predominate. Fires occur frequently. Tropical savannas. It is found within the tropical zones in South America and Africa. It looks like a broad, grassy meadow, with trees spaced at wide intervals. It frequently has red soil. It grows scattered trees that usually appear stunted and gnarled like apple trees. Palms also occur on savannas. Saltwater swamps are usually found along tropical coastlines. Formation of these swamps begins with bare flats of mud or sand that are thinly covered by seawater during high tides. Freshwater swamps are often described as low-lying forested regions that absorb floodwaters and run off from the land around them. They are distinguished from other types of wetlands such as marshes and bogs, by the dominating presence of trees and shrubs. Travel through jungle areas. With practice, movement through thick undergrowth and jungle can be done efficiently. Always wear long sleeves to avoid cuts and scratches. Immediate considerations. The most important items to take with you from the crash site are a machete, a compass, a first aid kit, and a parachute or other material for use as mosquito netting and shelter. Take shelter from tropical rain, sun, and insects. Malaria carrying mosquitoes and other insects are immediate dangers, so protect yourself against bites. Water procurement. Animals as signs of water. Water from plants. Vines. Roots. Palm trees. Water from condensation. Food. Is usually abundant in a tropical survival situation. Fish. Wild animals. Fruits. Leaves. Poisonous plants. One rules for avoiding poisonous plants. All mushrooms. Mushroom identification is very difficult and must be precise, even more so than with other plants. Some mushrooms cause death very quickly. Some mushrooms have no known antidote. Two general types of mushroom poisoning are gastrointestinal and central nervous system. Contact with or touching plants unnecessarily. Two contact dermatitis. Contact dermatitis from plants will usually cause the most trouble in the field. 3. Ingestion Poisoning 
Ingestion poisoning can be very serious and could lead to death very quickly. Do not eat any plant unless you have positively identified it first. Keep a log of all plants eaten. North, South, East and West are the four directions. I can help you to know them. If you stand facing me in the morning, you face East. So West is behind you. North is towards your left shoulder. South is towards your right shoulder. Got that? Now tell me the directions again. Sup bros and broesses, if you're wearing an analog wristwatch then you can find an accurate north to south line just by using your watch in combination with the sun. To do this, hold your watch horizontal and point the hour hand directly towards the sun. Now all you need to do is bisect the angle between the hour hand and the 12 hour mark. Or in other words, run a straight line directly through the middle of the hour hand and the 12 o'clock mark. Then this will be your north to south line. North will be the direction furthest away from the sun because the sun is on the southern side of the sky. Easy peasy, right? It's important to remember to point the hour hand directly at the sun. Other means of determining direction. Wind direction may be helpful in some instances where there are prevailing directions and you know what they are. Thank you and good day.